So today, we're going to explore how you can get citizenship investment in Dominica. Personally, not one of the favorites one in terms of the process, but going there on a vacation or something can, well, sounds like a very good idea at the moment. Hello everyone, I'm Irena Pergomet, the Deputy Operations Manager in Nomad Capitalist, where we help people to go where they're treated best. I don't know if you knew this, but Dominica is considered one of the happiest places to live in the world. It's actually a bit smaller than the other countries in the area, but it still has a pretty high standard of living, uh, and all of that in a pretty tax-friendly environment. How can someone qualify for this citizenship? Dominica offers two routes that you can choose to, uh, to actually get Dominican citizenship. The first one is the donation. Again, most popular one, uh, similar to every others, but Dominica is pretty cheap if you're a single applicant. So if you're a single applicant, all you need to do is to invest $100,000 into the Economic Diversification Fund. This is a pretty cheap option if you're a sole applicant. If you want to add your spouse to it, then you need to donate $150,000 and family of three or family of four uh, remains at $175,000. Again, not probably the cheapest options for the families, but if you're a single applicant, well, it's a very good option. The second route is the real estate investment. Uh, I know I'm, say this, I'm saying this every time, but probably not one of my favorites. In Dominica, you need to purchase a property of a minimum of $200,000 in order to qualify for Dominican citizenship. It, this actually sounds like a perfect option, have a vacation home at the beach and go there every once in a while and so on. But it does require a lot of due diligence on the property. It does have a lot of fees. It's not only the purchase, right? But you have some side fees, uh, like the due, due diligence fees and the maintenance and so on to, to, to pay. Uh, and again, it's a bit complicated. The real estate in the Caribbeans are not the best ones. And you need to have a very good agent who do the, inspect of the inspection of the property, who do the due diligence and so on, and to confirm that you can actually purchase it. In case you really do want to go down this route to purchase a real estate and get citizenship that way, it's important to note that you cannot sell that property for at least five years after you've been approved for citizenship. If you sell it before that, then your citizenship will be lost. So why this citizenship over others? As I mentioned at the beginning, Dominica is probably not one of my favorites, um, but again, I do think that it's a good of a vacation place. It's a good place to live uh, in case that you have that Caribbean, you want that Caribbean kind of lifestyle and so on. Uh, the application process is relatively, of course, it's complicated. Every Caribbean censorship investment program is complicated with the document collection and so on. Dominica doesn't require an apostyle, so that's shorten up a process a bit in terms of the document collection and so on. Um, but they're still regularly slow with the processing of the applications. Um, we currently just had uh, just had a situation where we had person waiting for the approval for eight months. So earlier, this was one of the fastest uh, citizenship investment options out there. It only took approximately three to four months to get the approval. Well, now we see that there are, well, it might be just a lot of applications there at the same time, but if Dominica goes back to the processing time of three to four months, it would definitely be one of my favorites and I would definitely recommend doing it. So the list of documents, like in every other Caribbean citizenship investment uh, programs, is very extensive. It does have a lot of forms and a lot of validity dates, a lot of uh, special wording on how you will certify some document uh, and so on. Um, but I would say that maybe the one that is more complicated than Dominica is Grenada, so it's not the worst, I guess. Um, it does take a while to collect the documents, but again, because the apostyle is not needed, I would say that it takes approximately two months to collect that, which is still pretty, pretty good. Um, and once you actually submit the application, it goes to the bank first to conduct the due diligence, and only then it goes to the citizenship investment unit. The bank part can be a bit tricky because they're as well, similar to Grenada, a bit slow. Uh, and can ask some, some questions about some transactions in your bank statements or the source of funds or anything like that. Um, this is, again, where we can help you out. Uh, I think that we do have, uh, what we did previously actually with, with, with some people is, well, we call the bank and we say, okay, so the client is on the call, ask him any questions that you have. Let's speed up this process because it's already taking too long. Um, not something that, that you can do, um, but uh, because we do have a very good uh, network of lawyers and, uh, and others in, in every country, um, we can definitely help you out to get it sooner, sooner than that. 
Again, if you do need the passport very urgently, I wouldn't recommend Dominica. I would probably go with, uh, with some other option out there. So one good thing that I didn't mention and why this is a ship over others is that the passport is actually valid for 10 years once issued, which uh, some other Caribbean citizenship investment options uh, offer the passport for five years. So this is pretty good. Um, however, again, the renewal of the passport is done completely remotely. So, well, it's pretty much the same if it's five or 10 years because you will just sit at home and renew your passport. So after those 10 years, and of course, before you should probably renew it before the expiration actually happened, um, you just need to, to, to renew the passport either by the help of the lawyer or at the consulate, uh, the Dominican consulate in, your, in the country where you reside. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Dominica, similar to every other, well, not every other, but similar to Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, and so on, uh, doesn't require you to step a foot in Dominica. So there is no language requirement test, there is no um, physical presence test, test or anything. Although, like I mentioned at the beginning, considering Dominica is considered um, the happiest place to live in the world, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely visit it and uh, well, see how you can live happily ever after. <laughs> And that's it. That's actually how you get the censorship investment in Dominica. Once again, and I again, I know I say this every time, but documents collection gives you such a hassle. It gives you such a hard time. Uh, you want to probably give up in the middle of the process for minimum of five times. And that's why you really need us to help you out. Um, the thing on where my frustration comes along, and I'm sure that if you've done this by yourself, it, I'm sure you felt it, is you feel like you find a perfect, found a perfect lawyer out there who will help you out, and that's pretty much it. And then it goes into, uh, well, you know, this document uh, does not uh, show from where your money is coming from. Please issue the affidavit to prove that. You got no idea how to put together an affidavit. They require a special wording, which you don't know. You write it, you notarize it, you sign it, you send it over there, and they said not good enough. So that's why, again, you need us. We know all the tricks that you need to as well know, and we know how to get you through the finish line uh, and get you the passport that you wish uh, either Dominica or any any other and if again Dominica is not something that you prefer Then you can check out some other videos and see what other Caribbean options Caribbean citizenship investment options are out there Or you can check the website in case that you want to explore a bit wider options out there